This is a quick video to show you how to configure your firmware for a conveyor belt printer. So JC3 Design had a question about how I set up my, my firmware. So let's go into my Marlin and I'll show you how I set up my firmware for conveyor belt and for the Hypercube for Core XY. Okay, so we launch Marlin. So the first thing we do at the top, we go to the configuration H file. And to make it a Core XY printer, I go find, so edit find or control F, Core XY. So in this section, what you have to do is uncomment this line here that says define core XY okay then the next section that that we have to do is set up the steps per millimeter so I just do control F find steps and here I've set up my steps so my X my Y steps and my Z steps is based on my roller diameter for the belt so this I measured 100 millimeters off on the belt advanced at 100 millimeters and then if it was not right I changed the value until I got the right value so this is for my roller diameter what I got to and my extruder the same the last value that I have to change is my size of the print bed so this is my X and my Y. I'll show you on the printer how I got those values. And then my maximum Z, Z position, I made 99999. So in practice, this is your, the maximum size of your Z, the maximum size that you're going to print. So I've got 100 meters here, which is uh, a bit ludicrous. In reality, you probably only need like one meter. So we could make this a thousand millimeters. And that's the only thing that you have to change to make a Core XY conveyor belt printer. To show you what Black Belt Cura does to now do the rest of the job, I'm going to use Repetier Host. So I've got a little plugin uh, or post processor that, that I wrote that does half the job that Cura does. So what Cura does, it takes the model and then it rotates it at the, the angle that you require. Okay, in this case, mine would be 35 degrees. Then when you do the slicing, Black Belt Cura goes and it offsets the, the layers. So you see, this is now what the printer thinks it's printing. So it starts on the tail and it goes layer by layer. If I go show a layer range, so it starts on the tail, but you'll notice that this model is somewhat distorted. It's, it's sort of stretched in the Z direction. It looks like the layers are just horizontal. You see that. But because the conveyor belt is moving, it becomes a 35 degree angle. So all you have to do is use Black Belt Cura and it does it for you. If we look at the same model in Cura, if I go to my layer view, you see the layers are automatically at 35 degrees. So that, remember I said Cura does that for you. And when you do the G code, save to file, it then automatically transforms the Z so that it can take account of the conveyor belt moving. So I want to show you on the printer how the configuration on the firmware relates to the movement here. So this is my Y axis. Obviously that's the zero and all the way up to this one is 340. Obviously this is my X axis. Um, X zero is this side and my max maximum height here is about 240. My conveyor belt is the Z direction. 
the steps per millimeter on the z axis is determined by the diameter of the roller on this side because this is where the motor is connected.